Since the 1980s, the Pentagon has increasingly relied upon its advanced, science fiction-esque stealth warplanes to maintain the edge over its foes. And since that time, Washington has been able to rest easy knowing that its stealth capabilities were sufficient to overwhelm its rivals. But as America has rested on its laurels, their rivals have been catching up. Particularly Russia has overcome these capabilities. How could it be? Does this mean the once unassailable prestige of stealth is fading, or has it vanished entirely? Let's discuss. Russia and China are dedicated to overcoming American superiority in making military technology. Lately, a stark reminder of how vulnerable the F-35 warplane is to sophisticated air defense came during Operation Rough Rider in the skies above Yemen. The United States Navy has battled the Iranian-backed Houthi rebels of Yemen for years. Western media reports have indicated that the Houthi armed with advanced anti-access or area denial capabilities thanks to their relationship with Iran, Russia and China, nearly downed an F-35 over Yemen earlier this month. Houthis use their air defense system to threaten American stealth jets. To engage this attack, it seems they use radar to detect the existence of the F-35. Based on some sources, allegedly Russia's radar played a main role in this incident. Building off the lessons learned from squaring off against American stealth technology, the Russians have emphasized a few radar systems as a possible exploitation for their air defense operators, specifically against the F-35 Lightning II. Among them are VHF, or known as Very High Frequency Radar, and NEBO-M. However, on this occasion, we will focus more on discussing the NEBO-M radar system and how this technology counters American stealth technology. Long before the news emerged about the Houthi attack on the F-35, which also involved the NEBO-M radar system, journalists from the National Interest had predicted and analyzed this problem. To understand this, let's first talk about how stealth works. Jets like the F-35 and F-22 are built with special shapes and materials that make them hard to detect. Their surfaces are smooth and angled, so radar waves bounce off in the wrong direction like shining a flashlight on a mirror and having the light reflect away from you. They're also coated with special materials that absorb radar signals instead of bouncing them back. Weapons are hidden inside the jet's body, and even the engine exhaust is shaped to reduce heat and radar visibility. This makes these jets very hard to detect, especially by the kinds of radars most air defense systems use, mainly high-frequency radars, like the ones found on most missiles or fighter jets. To start, let's introduce NEBO-M in more detail. Russia defense giant Almaz Ante says it has produced radars capable of detecting fifth-generation U.S. stealth fighter jets. The CEO, Jan Novikov, said they produced more than 30 types of mobile, multifunctional radar systems. The 55ZHM NEBO-M is among Russia's newest surveillance radars. As with most of its kind, it is designed by the Nizhny Novgorod Research Institute of Radio Engineering, an Almaz Ante subsidiary. NEBO-M is part of the NEBO, Russian for Sky, family of very high-frequency radar systems. The first NEBO-M units entered service in parts of Russia's Western Military District in 2017 and were delivered to Crimea in the following year. The NEBO-M is Russia's answer to stealth. Unlike older radar systems that use only one type of signal, NEBO-M works like a radar team, using three different types of radar waves, each with its own strength. Here's the trick. Most stealth fighters are designed to evade short wavelength radars, like X-Band, which are common in modern warfare. But the NEBO-M also uses longer wavelength radars, like VHF and L-band, and these can sometimes see stealth planes more clearly. 
Why? Because stealth designs work best against small radar waves. Longer radar waves don't bounce off the plane the same way. Instead, they can sometimes detect the aircraft's overall shape or even cause the radar signal to resonate with parts of the jet, making it easier to spot. Here's where it gets interesting. While the Nebo-M can detect and track stealth aircraft, that doesn't mean it can shoot them down on its own. It's an early warning radar, which means it tells other systems where to look. The actual job of launching missiles or engaging the target would need to be done by other radars and weapon systems. Still, having the ability to see stealth aircraft from far away is a huge advantage. It gives Russian forces more time to prepare, respond, or even guide fighter jets toward a hidden threat. Russian state media adds that stealth technologies pose no problem for the new radars, but the full picture is more complex. So, does this mean stealth is useless now? Not at all. The pilots of the F-35 jets in question aren't simply going to let themselves be passive targets, and they likely won't come alone. In theory, advanced VHF radars like Nebo-M can feasibly detect an approaching F-35 stealth fighter jet or the F-22 fighter jet. But detection is only one part of a multi-step targeting process. After being detected, the F-35s in question must still be fixed, tracked, targeted, and successfully neutralized. Here's what you need to remember. It is technically true that the Nebo-M and similar radars can spot America's fifth-generation fighter jets, but that is only one piece of a larger battlefield puzzle. Detection is one thing, but whether or not a Russian air defense network can successfully neutralize an F-35 stealth jet or F-22 fighter jet squadron depends on a wide range of contingent factors that are difficult to model in the abstract. That's wrap up for today. Thanks for watching.